students we have already started second chapter of grammar that is verb expressing the present we have already done the simple present tense now today we will be doing present continuous what is present continuous simple present tense you all know it present continuous means the continuous form continuous means ing form of the verb the verb which is in action which is going on is called continuous form now present means at the time of speaking it's going on in the present so now we will know the form how it is formed now subject first subject will come then is rm what is is rm it's an auxiliary verb without auxiliary verb without auxiliary verb continuous form cannot be formed then plus ing form of the verb so what is the continuous form first subject will come then is rm auxiliary verb then ing form of the verb and then you can add the add object to it whatever you like it now to it expect to express an action taking place at the time of speaking now present continuous means to express an action taking place at the time of speaking now to it also tells about temporary action which may not be happening at the time of speaking what it tells it also tells us about temporary action which may not be happening at the time of speaking example somebody is knocking at the door now somebody is knocking at the door this is action taking place at the time of speaking now all the trains are arriving late this is a temporary action it is happening it's a temporary action so now you can see very well that first the auxiliary verb has been used and you have to take care of subject verb agreement while using auxiliary verb is rm as you all know that this is is rm is an auxiliary verb and it is used in present form only you have to take care of the subject verb agreement and here the subject verb agreement is comes with um, uh, auxiliary verb all the trains are arriving late this sentence are arriving late all the trains are arriving late is a is a is a temporary action it is not action taken place at the time of speaking now to make it negative now to make it negative in present continuous form what we are going to do we will we will see that first we are going to underline the underline the auxiliary verb as well as the main verb auxiliary verb as well as the main verb now it has become easy for us to make it negative as we are already having an auxiliary verb but in simple present tense we don't have auxiliary verb there we use do and does as an auxiliary verb now here anu is not making noise here to make it negative what we have used not and it has come between an auxiliary verb and the main verb so you have to take care of it while making it negative now let's come to interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence what we are going to do the first auxiliary verb will come then the subject of the sentence this is the subject this is the subject of the sentence and then the main verb with ing form the main verb with ing form and then at the end you are going to give a question mark what will be the punctuation in interrogative sentence interrogative sentence punctuation is question mark but negative sentence punctuation is full stop 
In negative sentence, the punctuation is full stop. In interrogative sentence, the punctuation is question mark. So, that's all for today. You have understood what is continuous form. Continuous form means the action that is taking place at the time of speaking. And for that, always remember that the moment the continuous word comes, that means it is ing form of the verb. The continuous word means the ing form of the verb. And if it is present continuous, you will add is rm as an auxiliary verb and then ing form of the verb, main verb, you will add ing form. That's all for today. In the next class, I'll be doing the other exercises.